Hello, alrighty, we're gonna do math lesson 10.6, make tally charts. So we're gonna make our own tally charts today. You should have your math book out and open to page 437. And let's go ahead and start. All right, so let's look at our first page. Um, Ama asks the children in her class which of three games they like best. She makes a tally mark to show each child's answer. Which game did the most children choose? Which did the fewest children choose? Okay, so let's look at our tally chart. First thing we wanna do is complete it. You should remember this from yesterday. Um, so we're just counting up and putting our numbers in. So how many chose card games as their favorite game? Do you remember what it looks like when you have four and then one across to make a bundle? Yeah, it's five. Okay, let's see how many chose puzzle. Now this is not a bundle, so we'll count. One, two, three. Alrighty, and how many chose board games? Here we have two bundles. So if each bundle is five, then we can count by fives or we can add five plus five. Either way, we have five, 10. Good job. Okay, we've completed our chart, so we're on our way. Use the tally chart to answer the question. Which game did the most children choose? Circle. So these are our choices. Card game, puzzle, or board game. So look up here and see. You can look at your tallies or you can look at the numbers. Which game did the most children choose? Yeah, board game. Give yourself a pat on the back if that's what you picked. Okay, which game did the fewest children choose? Is it card game, puzzle, or board game? Look at your chart. Yep, puzzle, good job, you got it, you can do this. Okay, go ahead and turn the page. All right, now we're gonna make our own tally charts. We've got some information, kind of like we had when we were making picture graphs and bar graphs. How can you make a tally chart to show the boats in the lake? Here's our boats, and we're gonna decide if each of the boat has a sail. So these are the boats in the lake boats with sails and boats without sails. Then a sail is this kind of fabric thing that looks like a um, triangle. All right, so let's start with boats with sails. So we have one, they look like they've crossed that one out for us. Let's make a tally for it. Two, I've crossed that one out, let's make another tally. All right, but we're not done, are we? Here's one over here. Three and four. Okay, look, do we have any more with sales? Nope, and we know that's four because we just counted it. So let's put four in our box. All right, now let's count the boats without sales. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. So now I wanna cross my bundle and six. Okay, five, six. Six boats without sails. Excellent. All right, we have just made a tally chart. Give yourselves a pat on the back. Good work. Okay, let's come down here. We're gonna use this now to do this one. Use the picture to complete the tally chart, then answer each question. First, zebra fish. So we can do it like we did up here, which every boat, we put a tally, cross it out, put a tally, cross it out or we can just count them. So let's try a, that second strategy for this one. So zebra fish, they're the little green ones. So let's count them all. One, two, three, four, five, and let's make five tallies. One, two, three, four, five. Don't forget about that one and write your total. It's just a different strategy, right? We just counted them all at once and did it instead of each one. You choose what works best for you. Okay, angel fish. Let's count, one, two, three. Okay, so let's make angelfish tallies. One, two, three. Good, how many total? Three, excellent job. All right, how many zebrafish are in the tank? We can use our chart. Zebrafish, follow it. How many are in the chart, in the tank? Five, yeah, we don't even need to count our tallies because we've already done it once. So we can just put five. How many more zebrafish than angelfish? 
Remember, if it asks how many more or how many less, we're doing a subtraction equation. So we it would be five minus three would tell us how many more of the zebrafish there are than angelfish. Or you can just count how many more, you could do whatever strategy you like. So we have five zebra and three angel. Let's do an equation, five minus three equals how many more? Two, good, there are two more. You could also match them up, like I could say, there's that one, and there's that one, and there's that one, and there's two extra, so two more angel, or zebra fish, sorry. So you pick a strategy, however it works. Okay, how many zebra fish and angel fish are in the tank? Now they want how many in all. So if we're asking how many in all, are we adding or subtracting? Yeah, we are adding now. So you can do an equation, you could do five plus three equals, that would be your answer. That's one strategy. Another strategy is you could just count your tally marks. Or even another strategy is you could just count all the fish in the tank. You decide what works for you. Go ahead and tell me what the answer is. Yeah, eight fish all together. Excellent job. You guys are great, great chart readers now. Okay, let's move on. Which of these snacks do most children like the best? All right, ask 10 friends, make one tally mark for each child's answer. Okay, you do not have to ask 10 friends. You can ask however many people are in your house or maybe you can call someone, that's great. I'm gonna tell you what's my favorite. So choices are pretzel, apple, or yogurt. I would have to say my favorite is yogurt. So I'm gonna give a tally mark for me. You can give a tally mark for me as well. And then you can ask some more people if you'd like. Um, you can put this on pause if you wanna ask your own people, or you can uh, go ahead and continue with me. I'm gonna pretend like I asked some people. So I'm going to say I asked this many, and then this many, and that's it. You do whatever you like. But whatever you choose here, you're gonna wanna put a total. So in my case, pretzel, three people said they like pretzel. One, two, three. Just make sure you only have 10 tally marks, okay? Apple, six people like apple in my house, and one person likes yogurt in my house. Now yours, you can go ahead and use the same numbers I have if you want to, or you can do your own, all right? You'll be asked to do your own later on, probably. So use the tally chart to answer the question. So how many children in Miss Smalley's house like pretzels? Again, this might be different than your house. In my house, three like pretzels. How many children chose yogurt in Miss Smalley's house? Oh, just Miss Smalley, huh? Just one. Which snack do most children like best in Miss Smalley's house? Pretzel, apple, or yogurt? Which one had the most choices? Yeah. Apples, most in my house. Again, these could be different for yours, or maybe you're doing the same as mine. That's fine. All right, think smarter. Here's our puppet. What if six children out of the 10 chose pretzel? Which snack would be the favorite? All right, what if six chose pretzel? then which one would be the favorite? What do you think? Yeah, pretzel would be the favorite because in my house, six chose apple, but if six chose pretzel, then it would pretzel would be the, actually it would be a tie, wouldn't it? If six were pretzel and six were apple together, it would be a tie. But if only three chose apple and six chose pretzel, if they got switched, then we would have pretzel would be the most. But in my house, I guess if it just switched, we would have a tie between the two. All right, write your own question about the tally chart. We've been reading a lot of chart questions. You don't have to write it, just say it out loud. What's a question? And remember, questions can be as simple as how many people chose apple or how many students chose yogurt, you know, and then you can answer your question if you'd like. All right, good job. Let's turn the page. I knew it, another tally chart, here we go. Jenna asked 10 friends to choose their favorite subject. She will ask 10 more children. So our favorite subject in school, and then the total. So she has math, reading, and science. Okay, she's gonna ask 10 more kids. She hasn't asked them yet. Hmm, we're gonna make some predictions. Which subject will children most likely choose? Okay, she's already asked 10, 
and she's gonna ask 10 more. In this case, which one is the favorite now? Is it math, reading, or science? Yeah, the favorite right now is math. So if she was to ask 10 more, do you think that they're likely to answer similar or different? Yeah, they'll probably answer the same, right? Or similar to these. So if we were to make a prediction based on this chart, which subject do you think that most children will likely choose? It doesn't mean that they definitely will, but based on the information we already have, what do you think? Yeah, probably math, right? Because we have five, six for math, we have only two for reading and two for science. So six is clearly the most favorite so far. It probably will continue to be the favorite. Okay, so math. Which subject will children least likely choose? Now that one is harder to predict if we were looking into the future because reading and science are kind of equal, right? So it would probably be one of those two, but you choose whatever you think. It's hard to tell from the information we have. So let's say that reading probably, just because science has a tendency to be kind of hands-on and sometimes fun. All right, how can you prove if your prediction is good? Try it. So if you'd like to, you could ask some people this question and see what they choose and then see if your predictions were correct. That's an optional activity. You do not have to do that. All right, for the last one, complete the tally chart to show the number of votes. Oh, okay, so this time they've already given us the total and we get to make the tallies. So Apple, one, two, three, four, four. They did that one for us. We don't have to do it. Banana, five. Are you ready to make five tallies? Here we go. One, two, three, four. Don't forget the fifth one crosses over. Okay, grapes, two. Let's do two. One, two. Excellent job. Good tally charts. Okay, so um, for your, um, your practice activity, it says, which color do most children like best? Ask 10 friends, make one tally mark for each child's answer. You do what you like. You can ask as many people as you get information for. I'll give you one. Um, I prefer blue. Okay, so you can make a tally for Mrs. Smalley and then you can ask the other people in your house. And then answer the questions, please. Down here in problem solving, you'll read. Jason asked 10 friends to choose their favorite game. He will ask 10 more. This one is similar to our prediction over here. So you can read the chart they have and then make predictions. Look into the future, right? You can be wizards looking into the future. Let's see what our review activities are. Okay, lesson check. All right, so using a chart, picking an answer. Okay, good. Review greater than, circle the number that is greater than 54 and then fill it in. And then write the number three ways. All right, I'm not gonna make you do this one so you can cross this one out. All right, so easy, just two in your review. Excellent. All right, let me know if you have any questions in the comments before. Have fun with math.